Right, there we go. Uh, now, I will keep stopping it every so often to make sure that it hasn't gone rogue. And we're just going to ask that uh, Connor takes care of it. Because I am now driving towards the water, so Connor's going to have to walk around behind it. It might be quite amusing to just snap around and get a picture of him. He'll be very cross, of course. He's an engineer, you see, so he doesn't like to perform. There we are. So, like I was saying, the idea will be to get this thing into a position, I've got a bit of a fright there, where where we can, where we can stop and watch things like buffalo coming down, which they will do, of course, very soon. Now, X Ranger, you say that ro this rover has a mind of its own. It does seem to, and that it needs to learn or be programmed, certainly, with some robot laws. Yes, I think, you know, as artificial intelligence goes, this is profoundly stupid. But um, it's certainly a wonderful, wonderful addition to our game drives. This seems to be absolutely fine. This is marvellous. Let's turn it around quickly. I bet Connor's just behind. <laughs> Got him. Anyway, there's a whole lot of technical stuff going on there at the water hole. Very important. Now, the reason there are no animals coming down here, of course, is because it's gold. And I'm going to stop the rover. It's not moving now, but you can see the clouds scudding over the sky from the southeast. That's generally where our frontal weather comes from. With any luck, a buffalo or an elephant will come to have a drink at some stage. That starling that you can see flitting about out to the right-hand side of the screen. And uh, 